Things are getting scary, my friends. This is Ross, and you are watching Lord Health Channel. Donald Trump is still the target of his enemies. Yes, my dear folks. Only a few hours remain before the presidential elections in the USA. Yet, candidate Donald Trump is still under threat from his opponents. This time, however, he is fighting not only political adversaries, but also supernatural forces and those engaged in dark practices such as witchcraft. What I am about to share with you will make sense to you, but you must listen carefully as this is very, very concerning. On the website Reddit, a post has gone viral and is gaining a lot of attention. That post claims that witches are finding it difficult to cast spells on Donald Trump as there seems to be some kind of protection around him. It states that many people are taking the opportunity to perform protection and uplifting spells to help Kamala and the Democrats rather than attacking the other side. One popular spell that can be repeated many times is the Blue Wave spell. So child of God, I want to ask you now, isn't this already evident to us? Don't we know that we are not only fighting a physical battle for the power to govern a nation, but also a spiritual battle of faith and righteousness? Now let me remind you of a recent event that took place in Powder Springs, Georgia. At the end of the gathering, Several faith leaders came together around Donald Trump, offering prayers over the Republican nominee. So whatever we are seeing is the undeniable impact of prayer, of God's people interceding and standing in faith for a leader they believe has been chosen for such a time as this. And isn't it remarkable that while prayers of protection are going up, Spiritual attacks are failing to gain ground. We see a direct connection here, friends. The enemy's plans are being frustrated and the darkness is being pushed back because of the prayers of the faithful. The witches on social media are right about one thing. There is surely a powerful protection around Trump. But it is not from the earthly resources. It is from the Lord himself. And why God do this? Because he has a purpose for America. A purpose for his people. That the forces of darkness will not overcome. God's hand has protected this nation through countless trials. And today is no different. In the Bible... We see God raise up leaders who will turn the hurts of his people back to him. We see him place a hedge of protection around those he appoints for specific tasks. This protection is not due to their own strength, but because they have a role in his plan. And today, we are seeing God's protection on a leader who stands in the gap drawing attacks and hatred not just because of his politics but because he represents a barrier to the agenda of the enemy. Now before I say anything else, let me ask you, do you remember the day of July 13th in the Pennsylvania? How Donald Trump narrowly escaped harm? That day was a reminder for all of us that while earthly threats abound, there is also a supernatural force standing guard, protecting him from those who seek his downfall. Since that day, since July, his enemies have been revealing themselves more boldly, almost as if 
they can no longer hide in the shadows. The darkness, my friends, is being forced into the light and the spiritual warfare around us is intensifying. These enemies of Donald Trump aren't just political rivals on opposition figures. They represent a spirit of division, hatred and chaos that is trying to take root in a nation and around the world. And it's not just about the Donald Trump himself. It's about what he stands for, for the values he represents and the courage he embodies in the face of an overwhelming spiritual assault. This is why we are seeing such brazen attacks, not just on him, but on everything that upholds God's truth, on every leader who stands for righteousness. So what can we do? We, as God's people, are not without resources. We have the power of prayer. And that is a force more powerful than any weapon, more resilient than any wall. When we pray, we are invoking God's divine protection, His spiritual shield that no enemy can penetrate. Donald Trump has survived not by his own strength, but because of the divine protection, a hedge that God has placed around him through the prayers of believers like you and me. Now some might ask, why does prayer matter? Can our words truly impact the physical world? And the answer is yes. A resounding yes. Our prayers are not empty words. They are our connection to the power of the Almighty God. Scripture tells us that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. When we pray, we invite God's presence into our circumstances into the very places where darkness tries to take root. And make no mistake, dear child of God, darkness cannot withstand the light of God's truth. Our prayers for Donald Trump create a barrier around him, a spiritual fortress that no enemy can penetrate. They provide him with the strength to endure the wisdom to discern truth from deception and the courage to stand firm no matter the pressure or opposition he faces. Our prayers ensure that he is not fighting this battle alone but with the backing of a mighty spiritual army. Throughout the Bible, we have countless examples of God's people coming together in prayer to seek His intervention, to ask for protection, and to see His will be done. When we pray for Donald Trump, we are joining this legacy of intercession. Just as the Israelites prayed for deliverance from their enemies, just as Daniel prayed for insight in Babylon, just as the early Christians prayed for boldness in the face of persecution, we too must pray for God's intervention in our time. So without any further delay, let us join our hands together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you, humbled by your greatness and filled with gratitude for your boundless mercy, power, and protection. You are the Almighty, the one who sees all and knows all, and we recognize that our hope is in you alone. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of your love and the grace that carries us through each day. You are the author of life, the giver of wisdom, and the source of all strength. 
and we are honored to come into your presence knowing you are a God who hears the cries of his people. Today, Lord, we lift up Donald Trump to you, acknowledging that he faces challenges that go far beyond human understanding. We ask that you cover him with your divine shield of protection, that no scheme or weapon formed against him will prosper. Place a hedge around him that no enemy can penetrate. Fill him with your wisdom, Lord, that he may discern truth from deception and make decisions that are pleasing to you. May he find strength in you to stand firm, no matter how fierce the opposition. Guide his steps, his words, and his actions, and may he be a vessel of your justice, mercy, and truth. Father, we know that they are those who conspire against him, seeking his downfall with tactics rooted in darkness. We ask that every plan of the enemy, every lie, every attempt to harm him be brought into the light. Expose the deception, Lord, and let the truth be revealed. May every hidden agenda be laid bare, that your justice may prevail. We pray that no spell, no curse, no form of evil intent will succeed. Instead, let these attempts fall to the ground, powerless, for you are the defender of the righteous. Lord, we also bring our nation before you, recognizing that we are in a time of great spiritual warfare. The division, the hatred, and the chaos we see are signs of a battle that reaches far beyond what our eyes can see. We ask that you pour out your spirit upon this land, bringing unity where there is division, peace where there is turmoil, and faith where there is fear. Father, we pray that hurts would turn back to you, that our nation would once again be a place where your name is revered, where your truth is upheld, and where righteousness and justice are honored. Touch every hurt from our leaders to our children, that they may come to know you and seek to live in ways that are pleasing to you. Strengthen us as your people, Lord. Equip us with the arbor of God, so that we may stand firm in the face of the enemy. Give us courage to speak your truth boldly, to stand as beacons of your light in a world that often seems engulfed by darkness. Help us to love you as you love us. To serve you as you serve and to walk humbly, seeking your will above all else. Father, may we be instruments of peace, healing, and truth in our communities, showing others the way to your salvation. Father, we declare today that you are our refuge, our fortress, and our God. We place our trust in you, knowing that you are faithful and that you are working all things together only for the good of those who love you. Even when we do not understand, Father, even when the world around us is uncertain, we know that your plans for us are good, that you are a strong tower, and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We pray for a revival across this nation, for an awakening of hearts and minds to the reality of your kingdom. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Draw near to us, Lord, that we may draw near to you. Open our eyes to see your hand at work, 
open her ears to hear your voice and open her hearts to respond to your call may we walk in obedience empowered by your spirit ready to serve as your hands and feet in this world we pray all of this in the powerful and mighty name of jesus christ our savior our redeemer and our coming king we ask that you seal these prayers knowing that nothing is impossible with you and that you are more than able to accomplish all we have asked and more let our faith rise let our hope be steadfast and let our love for you and for one another shine brightly in these dark times in jesus mighty name we pray amen <music>